Faith has no proof but the Word of God. Now get that. I, that's a simple statement, but man, everything you will do hinges on that. So faith has no proof except the Word of God. Right? That means, see, now let's just let me give you an example. Uh, someone's sick, you begin to minister to them, they get better, it looks like they're being healed, and so you look at their appearance, and you look, oh, okay, they're getting well, so it's good. You just messed up. Why? Because you're going by what you can see to decide if the word of God was true. And see, this is, these are the things, these are those little things that get in there that will mess you up and cause you to veer off into sight rather than, rather than faith. So you have to remember, what the Word of God says is the final authority. If it's written, it's settled. End of story. Nothing else matters. Nothing else counts. Nothing else, anything else, let me put it this way. Anything else you do is going to take you away from faith, which means away from results. Because only faith gets results. All right? I know we're I'm just making some, just some plain statements here. But I will tell you, if you get a hold of this, it will absolutely change your life. Right? For the better. Okay? Now, so faith has no proof but the word of God. Now, the, as they would say, the corollary of that or the opposite of that or whatever is this. The more proof you have other than the Word of God, the less faith is present. Right? Let's think about that. The more proof you have other than the Word of God, and what I mean by that is Scripture. I'm talking about Scripture, right? I'm not talking about a voice. I'm not talking about what some people call uh, rhema, you know, like a word from God. Now, that's, we'd have to talk. Actually, I will be teaching on that because that's another basic that we're going to have to cover. But you need to realize that what counts, whenever Jesus fought the devil, how many of you know our battle is with the devil? It's not with flesh and blood, amen? It's with the devil, spiritual forces, the devil and everything under him. When Jesus fought him, he used one technique, one tactic. It is written. He didn't say, uh, devil, you're going to obey me and I'm not going to obey you uh, because I'm the anointed one of God. He didn't say, devil, don't you understand how much anointing I have? None of that matters to the devil. All he's trying to do is get you to not believe the word of God. If he can steal the word in your heart, he can kill and destroy your life. All right? This is super simple, super important, and yet many people totally overlook it. And so the more faith or the more evidence, like we said, or proof that you have of anything, the less faith is present. What does that mean? That means that you might purposely not, you may purposely want to not look at the evidence around you other than the Word of God. Okay? That's why a lot of things, let me tell you something. There's a lot of stuff you don't need to know. Right? If it ain't in here, you don't need to know it. It is that simple, right? And if you're walking in this, all that other stuff will not affect you, will not, uh, it has no bearing on how you live your life. And so the Israelites, I always go back to this, when they were on the other side in the land of Goshen, uh, under the bondage of the Egyptians, whenever the plagues hit Egypt, didn't touch the Israelites, right? Why? Because they were doing what God told them to do. So now, <clears throat> so faith, now I will say too, uh, in the beginning, I made a decision with God. I was taught well in the, in the very beginning. I had some good basic training. And our pastor taught us along these lines. And I remember at one point, and then of course I got a hold of some material, started reading it, and I'm like, okay, that, um, that matches Bible, that's Bible. And it just helped clarify some things. So in saying that, what I ended up doing, I told God, I said, if I never 
see any result, if I never see anything happening, as long as that's fine with me, because I want as pure faith as I can have. Now, that's almost you know, a nonsensical statement, because if you're walking in pure faith, you will have results. All right? But I was trying to tell God, I didn't need to see anything. All I, all, all I needed to see was what was in this book. That's all that I, I need to see. It is written. I need to see what was written. I need to know what was written. And whenever I knew that, then nothing else mattered. I told God, I, you know, obviously, if people are sick and I lay hands on them, I want them to get well. And if I'm in faith, they will get well. It's just that simple. And I, but I told God, I said, if you don't heal them right in front of me, if they get back out to their car or they get somewhere else before it manifests, because I've said this, you know, I don't like the time, the, the time element there, but I'm good with that. Why? Because I don't want to rely on what I see happening to determine my faith. 